Hello everyone, this is AK. In this video, we are going to learn about one different concept which is closely related to high scale industry standards. In this video, I am going to teach you how to optimize the products manufacturing through linear programming. Linear programming is one of the important mathematical concepts in the area of optimizations. Using linear programming, we can minimize the production cost and maximize the cash flows and profits to the business. There are a lot of researches and implementations has been published by using linear programming. And in this video, we are going to see one simple example of linear programming concept. It will be very helpful for you if you are a data science beginner to enter into the linear programming world. Before moving into the video, do like, share, comment and subscribe for more data videos. It will be very helpful for me to produce new data videos every day. So let's start this video. Linear programming concept breakdown into three parts. First one is objective function. In this function, you have to understand your business objective as an equation. Those equations can be optimized either maximum or minimum way. It totally depends upon your business output that you want. And the second one is the decision variables. If you are expecting to solve one, one objective through linear programming, it should be derived by some decisions. Those decisions considered to be here as a decision variables. If so, you have to construct your decision variables as a equations. Depends upon your decision variables, your outcome should be decided. And one more thing, these decision variables shouldn't be in negative forms. This could be always in a positive boundary. Third one is the constraints. If you are trying to solve one industrial problem through linear programming, there will be a lot of constraints could be available. These constraints will affect your decision variables directly and you cannot control the constraints in a real world problem but you can customize and control the decision variables instead of controlling the constraints. Simply constraints are the boundaries of your decision variables. So these are the important points you have to understand before starting the linear programming use case and also these theories are very important to understand the python program that I explained in this video. So how I got this idea? I found one repository on github which belongs to Atul Ananja. In his repository, he explained one use case and he gave different approaches to solve those use cases. I felt interesting and his explanations are well constructed for different approaches. So I thought of sharing this repo with you. Even I am a beginner in linear programming and this repo helped me a lot to understand the concept of linear programming. So link to this repository is in the description. Check this repo for linear programming explanations. Let's move to the use case. The use case we have here is based on optimizing the manufacturing of cars. Let me first read the use case and then we will start to break it down. A car company produces two models, Model A and Model B. Long time projections indicate an expected demand of at least 100 Model A cars and 80 Model B cars each day. Because of limitations on production capacity, no more than 200 Model A cars and 170 Model, model B cars can be made easily. To satisfy a shipping contract, a total of at least 200 cars must be shipped each day. The Model A car sold results are in $200 loss, but Model B car produces $500 profit. How many of each type should be made daily to maximize the net profits? So this is our objective right now. First, we have two models of cars. Those are Model A and Model B cars. We have to produce we have to produce 100 Model A cars and 80 Model B cars. This is our demand projections, but we are capable to produce 200 Model A cars and 170 Model B cars daily. As per the contract, we have to ship at least 200 cars daily to the client. But Model A car sold results are in loss of $2,000 and Model B car sold results are in the profit of $5,000. So we have to find how many of each car types made easily to maximize the net profit. So I am going to solve this use case through Pulp Library. Pulp Library is one of the simplest library in Python for linear programming optimizations. Through this library, you can easily implement your linear optimizations with minimal, number of, with minimal amount of code. So first here I imported the pulp library and then I declared my decision variables. Here my decision variables are how many cars I have to make daily. In the decision variables I put my demand as 100 and next I put 200. It represents the capable production of the plant. So same for the decision variable B. Uh, I put my demand first and then my production capability next. And then you have to mention the problem type. We are focusing on maximizing the profit. So I just put LP maximize as my optimization type. Next, we have to put our constraints. So we already know the constraints of our problem. The first constraint here is daily we have to ship at least 200 cars and then we can able to produce at least 200 Model A cars per day. And the actual demand of the Model A car is at least 100. And same for the B, we are setting up the constraints. And finally, we have to set the objective function. We already know the Model B cars are making $5,000 profit and Model A cars are making $2,000 loss. So I constructed an equation here and this is our objective equation and for solving those above equation we have to use one simple function called solve from pulp library to solve this linear equation. 
The process behind the function is very simple. Based upon our constraint and decision variables, it will generate the possible numbers with our boundary limits. And it will apply those numbers on objective equation. After analyzing all the results, whichever results is more optimized, it will bring those results as an output. Basically behind this solve function, there are a lot of permutations and combinations of number has been applied. And it is my guess, well it is more possible also. So once we run this program, we can, we will get more optimized results in the screen. So look at the results. If we produce 100 Model A cars or 170 Model B cars, we could able to achieve 6.5 lakh in dollars as a profit. So this is the function of this library. So we can make the linear programming very easy by using this handy library. And for supply chain optimizations, this library is a go-to library in Python. And that's all about this video. And if you like this video, give a like and subscribe and share for more updates. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week.